How can you get fabric mods in Minecraft 1.21.11? In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get them from downloading the fabric mod loader itself to getting the fabric API, which is like a library API mod that fabric needs most of the time, as well as installing a few other mods as well. So let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and it's our in-depth text guide on getting fabric. It goes over everything you'll need to know in order to get fabric in Minecraft 1.21.1, but we're also going to be covering everything in this video. So it's really just here if you prefer a text format. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click the download fabric button to go to fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click on this download universal jar link, this little link here. The reason we're doing that instead of download for Windows is because if you install fabric using the universal jar here, it will help you in the future installing other Minecraft mods and things like that. So let's go ahead and click on download universal jar. Now you may need to keep or save this file. It's 100% safe to do that. So we'll go ahead and click save here. And while this is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running fabric mods, running fabric mods packs or running plugins or any other mod pack you want you can do it at simple game hosting and you can get it set up quickly and easily there's a one click mod pack installer that will have you playing mod packs with your friends in minutes whether they're fabric forge neoforge or any other minecraft mod loader plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out so if you want to play minecraft mods with your friends do it the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz slash sgh now with the fabric mod loader itself installed let's go ahead and grab the rest of the things we need one of which is going to be the fabric api you can find this link in the description below where you can scroll down and click download fabric api to be taken to the official fabric api download page on curseforge click on files here and then find the 1.21.1 fabric version you can see here 1.21.1 and fabric in this case if you wanted to filter click the three dots and click download now it is worth mentioning that you may need to keep or save this as well as the other mods here generally as long as mods are on curseforge or moderate they are safe to be kept so we can go ahead and click save here to save the fabric API and then after that let's go ahead and get journey map the reason we're getting journey map linked in the description down below by the way is because there's something to watch out for when you're downloading minecraft mods specifically if we go to files here we can see that journey map has versions for neoforge for fabric for forge and even for quilt so what do we do here well we want to make sure that every mod we download is for fabric so you can filter for that and it needs to be for minecraft 1.21.1 if it's not for the fabric mod loader it's not going to work if it's not for minecraft 1.21.1 Dot one, it's not going to work. So make sure any mods you download are for Fabric version 1.21.1, which is the case here with this mod. Click the three dots and click download. And again, you may need to keep or save it. Once that is saved, you can download some more mods. Specifically from Moderinth is a super popular place to download mods. And CurseForge. Both are great whether you're using mods from Moderinth or mods from CurseForge. You can filter them. So you can filter for Fabric and you can filter for 1.21.1 on CurseForge. And you can do the same thing on Moderinth. So we can go ahead and filter for Fabric fabric and then 1.21 .1. The last thing I want to mention, and since 1.21.1 just came out, there's not really many mods for me to demonstrate this, unfortunately, is sometimes you will need another mod in order for a mod to work. For example, Irish Shaders here actually requires sodium. So if we go into versions, we can actually click on it, and it will say dependencies requires sodium. So in this case, you would want to download Iris, and you would want to download the sodium mod in order for this to work. Keep that in mind. Fabric API is also super important and, and a very common library mod for fabric mods. But if for whatever reason you install a mod and it's not working, it could be because it needs another library or dependency mod in order to work. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is move all of these mods to our desktop. So in our case, it's going to be Journey Map, Fabric Installer, and the Fabric API there. Once these are on our desktop, what we want to do is actually start off with the Fabric Installer. So this Fabric Installer file here. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the Fabric Installer. And if for whatever reason you didn't have Java, or you clicked OK and it didn't work, it's probably because you need Java 21. As of Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. So if you have older versions of Java, it's not going to work. So you need to get this new version linked in the description down below. And obviously, if you don't have it at all, you need it. And again, linked in the description down below. Once you've gotten Java 21, you may need to run the jar fix. It's going to link the jar files and Java together. So basically the fabric installer to Java to actually work. At this point, we can minimize our browser. Right click on fabric, click on open with, click Java and click OK. That will open up the fabric installer here where we can see 1.21.1 is selected. Make sure create profile is selected and click install. The reason this wouldn't have worked, which as we can see it has worked, is because you've never played Minecraft 1.21.1 before, not Minecraft 1.21, Minecraft 1.21. 21.1 
And you need to make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are closed when installing Fabric. At this point, we can click OK, close out of Fabric, and delete it. Now, to the fun part, we're going to install our mods. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. And then in the Minecraft Launcher, what we want to do is actually select our Fabric Profile, but do not play it. What I mean by that is we want to find the Fabric Profile in the installer here. So go into Installations at the top, and then make sure Modded is checked. As you can see, if Modded is not checked, it's not here. If we check Modded, we are good to go. But what if you don't have this Fabric Loader 1.21.1 installation here? Well, if you don't, go ahead and click New Installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft mods with your friends. Then click the drop-down box here and select Release Fabric Loader 1.21.1. Right here it is. Now we can go ahead and change our resolution so you can see better once we get in game and it's time to install our mods. That's right. Do not play Minecraft. Just get to the Minecraft launcher here. Then we can install the mods. To do that, hover over your Fabric installation and click the folder icon that appears. Then in this folder, you will have a mods folder. If for whatever reason you don't, don't worry about it. Just make one. So right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open your mods folder and drag and drop any fabric mods you want to install into the mods folder here. Fabric API is one you pretty much always should have, but Journey Map or any other mod. Oh, the bombs will go. Biomes are plenty. Xero's mini map, if you didn't want to use Journey Map, anything you want, you can add it here as long as it's a Fabric 1.21.1 mod. Now we go ahead and play Minecraft using our Fabric installation or the one that we created. That's right, you need to play Minecraft using Fabric every time you want to play your Fabric mods. Otherwise, they're not going to work. Once we're on the main menu, unfortunately you have to go in game to see that these mods are working. Since Journey Map can work on servers without anything being done server side, let's go ahead and join this simple game hosting server here. It's just a vanilla server, but this will work. And then once we're in game, Journey Map will be active. How do we see that? Well, as you can see, press J. When you press J, it opens this up. This is our full screen map. We're currently underground. Let me go up top real fast. Once you're above ground, things look even better. As you can see, our mini map is filling out up there. If we press J to pull up our full screen map, we can see all that. And if we wanted to set a waypoint, we could just double click here and we can name this spawn, for example. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But enjoy your new mods for Fabric 1.21.1. We'll see you in the next video and I'm out. Peace.